Tonight we are going to talk about breadfruit. Well, first time I heard about that plant was through literature. I, you know, I remember many years ago when I read Robson Crusoe, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the Coral, the, the Coral Island. All those books uh, mentioned uh, breadfruit. And the name breadfruit actually caught my attention because I was thinking, man, what kind of fruit is that? Does it taste like bread? And actually it sort of does. Uh, it kind of resembles, the taste kind of resembles uh, bread or something. Anyway, uh, after that, I, because of the name, it really, you know, got stuck to my mind. I did, you know, a little research and I, I found out that we do got that tree here in Brazil, but I didn't know where to find it. I didn't know where it, what it looked like either. So in January uh, 2013, I was in, uh, on Ilha Grande, which is a big island we got here in Brazil, uh, in Rio, uh, near Rio actually. And they got a lot of that tree in Ilha Grande. So I actually had the chance to finally see what the tree looks like and, and actually touch, you know, hold the fruit and, and, and see what it looks like, feel it in my hands. And it was a nice experience. I did not try it at that time, though, because, you know, I could only, I, I, I could not, you know, collect the fruit. I could only see it and, and touch it, like I said. But it was a good experience, nevertheless. So after I came back to, uh, to the place where I live, to the city where I live here in Brazil, in Belo Horizonte, I found out that, that they actually sell that fruit in, in the, at the central market we got here. So I went there and bought a, uh, bought a few of them, uh, breadfruit, and, you know, tried here at home. I tried different recipes, and it's really good. It actually tastes really good, and we are going to talk about that fruit here today. Now most of people usually know it as breadfruit and it's a tree from tropical areas. As a matter of fact, it prefers wet conditions, hot countries, you know, rather than dry places or cold places. Now it is original from Malaysia. It comes from the Pacific Ocean. And it was brought to Brazil back in the 16th century. And I have to say that that plant adapted really well to the tropical conditions it found here in Brazil. Now a very interesting aspect regarding the presence of that plant here in Brazil is that after some time when the Portuguese crown moved down here to South, uh, to South America, to Brazil, trying to escape from Napoleon uh, in Europe, the, the Portuguese emperor, you know, started a real big persecution against that plant and breadfruit almost totally disappeared from the country. But thank God that law didn't last very long or long enough to destroy all those plants and now we still have, you know, lots of those uh, breadfruit trees, you know, throughout the country. You can actually find you know, in the Amazon forest down here in, in southeastern Brazil, you can find a whole bunch of those trees in the jungles and, and in the areas. We now, breadfruit tends to live for about 80 years. And we have two species, two types of breadfruit. We have one which has the seeds. Uh, this one, uh, people say you cannot eat the inside, the pulp of the fruit. And you've got another one which doesn't have any seeds and that one is totally edible. The one which has seeds can be used uh, to produce some flour by toasting, roasting or even boiling the seeds. Now the other one has several ways to prepare. Like, uh, and that one is the one that I used on the video that you guys will see in a few minutes. Uh, and you can either boil that part, that plant, fry it, or just bake it in the fire. Just take it directly to the fire and you can bake it in there. Now it's a plant which is very rich in calories, carbohydrates, minerals, water. And it is also a plant which has a lot of vitamins such as vitamin B1, B2, vitamin C, then as we can see it is a really important plant, a, re a real 
great resource we have in tropical areas, in jungles, when it comes to nourishment. Like we have mentioned, that plant comes from Malaysia and it's the food base of a lot of people who live on, alien, uh, on islands of Polynesia. Here in Brazil, it is used by industry to produce flowers which are used to make bread and you can also make uh, candies and sweets with that kind of uh, mix. There are several ways you can prepare it, you can cook it. You can boil it, you can fry it, you can bake it. And like I've mentioned before, what you're going to see on this video is fried and uh, boiled breadfruit. Another very common and popular uh, way to eat here in Brazil is simply by spreading butter on it and then you can eat it like you eat butter and bread. In a lot of areas here in Brazil, people actually replace beans by the seeds of breadfruit that have been uh, roasted, baked or even boiled in water. As for the features of breadfruit tree, which are connected with bushcraft, there, there are some really interesting aspects regarding that tree. The wood itself is a very low density wood, which resembles a lot of the trumpet tree, which is a very common tree in tropical areas we got here. Uh, both trees make excellent uh, primitive fire kits for the bow drill, for the hand drill, they are because they are very low density. They make you no, know, like I said, very nice kits. And I have actually tried a fire harp, uh, a board, a fire board, a harp that I crafted out of a piece of a breadfruit tree that was laying on the ground for like months. It was obviously dead, and I could actually make a really nice work, workable. Um, fire kit out of that uh, breadfruit tree. Its tree also has properties that make it resistant to bug and insect attacks. So it is uh, the, the wood you got from the tree is also used you know, to make several objects such as furniture and stuff just because you know it has such good properties that will actually repel insect attack. The leaves of breadfruit also offer you a lot of fibers, really good fibers that can be used to make really resistant cord which is also a great resource to have you know as you probably know and understand that that cord is one of the most difficult things for people to get to make to produce out there when you are in this primitive you know situation where you have no modern materials if you have a plant like breadfruit which offers you all those uh, possibilities regarding food and also you know, cord making, fire making, it is just awesome. It is just great to have such a resource. Now one thing that really got my attention when I was first able to handle uh, breadfruit uh, fruit itself was the fact that it has some kind of latex and white sap that covers, you know, some parts of the fruit. It produces that milky sap which as uh, which as a matter of fact is a real good resource when it comes to glue making. So if you mix that milky sap with fibers such as animal manure or something like that, you can pretty much make some kind of really resistant glue which in a way resembles pitch glue when mixed with coal and, and, and animal manure. You, you know, it, here you will let pretty much get the same result obviously different colors because you don't use coal but it will make excellent glue which people use to you know to work on different types of material other than all the other benefits and properties which we have already mentioned that plant also offers us some really great therapeutic resources or properties when it comes to treating some uh, diseases and problems that we can have. It can pretty much be used to treat boils, rheumatism, uh, it is a very good sc uh, scarring, you can treat uh, kidney diseases too. So, wow man, with all those properties, that plant is just an awesome resource to have around. 
You can have some more little information on breadfruit just by reading the description section down there. You will actually find a little bit more info regarding you know, that really great resource we got here. Now, you guys can watch and see me preparing breadfruit at camp. It was a few weeks ago. And like I said before, I boiled and fried breadfruit at camp. And it was just delicious. Thank you for watching it. the information on breadfruit. This was Juliana Antonio from Brazil and I'll see you in the booties.